Uh, today I am going to discuss something that was long, long overdue for American blacks to disclose uh, and who instead engaged in a racism for which I deem in the United States of America the main cause of racism today. I'm not saying in the past, but for today, to me, obviously, the main source of racism in the United States of America are black people. Uh, I know it might sound to you like, oh, you're going against black people, only black people, but black people definitely. <laughs> not Latinos, not Asian population, not... Uh, Mid-Eastern population, not people from anywhere else in the world, the one that is dividing the United States of America in hatred, that's a black population. Those are American blacks. American blacks have the by far the most extreme, the most racial it's the most extreme, the most racist composition of American society. There is absolutely no doubt about it. They are the biggest prejudice, the biggest bigots. Filled with a hatred, with a goal to exterminate white race. And are in a holy quest for retaliation due to their past which i am not opposed to to take their side against the slavery that's not what i oppose to however due to laws in the united states of america due to what's called affirmative action or um what they refer to as equality Oftentimes, a quality that's um, financed, when I say financed, not meaning necessary money, you know, handouts, uh, but supported by exactly the opposite pole. You call this a Nazi pe people. And for that matter, because they're trying to destabilize the society, entire American society, uh, these two poles tend to collaborate, tend to work together. They're perfect for one another. They perfectly match because both pretty much have the same goals. They both pretty much have the same goals. What used to be Klux Klux Klan in the United States of America, this is what black Hollywood, this is what black NBA, this is what black sports people are these days, this is what black billionaires, wealth elites in the United States of America, either film characters, movie stars if you want, uh, this is exactly who this this is what the composition, this is what it makes this racial prejudice within a black society in the United States of America. Uh, I'm not going to say effective because I think it's counterproductive because a prejudice, racism, hatred uh, are self-destructive. They lead, they always brought to the same location, either an individual or nation or even a race. And that's pretty much a junkyard repository. In the history of the world, whatever you want. Um, my case was far more twisted than what I initially supposed it was not only about beatings at the partisan memorials that commenced in the 1995 as the main cause uh, 
of what went wrong with it. It was not parallel to this that my own family engaged in sorts of bullying, torment. Uh, it's surprising to me that next to Slovenian police, which would repeatedly transport me to the Serbian part of Bosnia or to the parts of Croatia that were occupied by the Serbs, have involved along the way literally to the British. I think the British were involved already way before this with for the sake of the Serbian Chetniks due to the King Alexander Karadjordjevic London escapade during the World War II. There is a family, Serbian uh, family uh, whose ancestry trace to the kingdom of the SHS, kingdom of Serbs, Slovenes and Croats. And as I say, King Alexander took off, escaped uh, after people rejected, people of Yugoslavia rejected uh, Nazism, he escaped to London. He took off with a plane and uh, stayed there ever since with what we see lately more and more frequent appearance on in publicity uh, returns to Belgrade uh, British were the one that hijacked me literally from the Serbia once I was transferred to or maybe was brought even directly by very difficult, very, very difficult, very, very difficult to go to discern who was more involved, whether it was American Central Intelligence Agency or British. But I give 99.9% assurance to you today that it was British royals that got me in portion of what was it? Maybe it was Liberia that these guys are from? I don't know. These guys, you're about to see this here. This thing here. This. I think it was Ghana and Liberia. My name. name. Yes? Yes? Really, really. really yes? Yeah. But that's completely yeah, yeah, yes. essential. Oh, you, see, you see a Chetnik, a Serbian Chetnik, and you see the African volunteer who volunteer himself to go to Croatia and slaughter Croatian people you know and the one who assured that this would happen actually literally was London and it was not about getting blacks to slaughter Croatian people Bosnian people but it was about the way London operates it was about turning the war the side of the war on a Serbian side, therefore to, ser to, to favor a Serbian side. Uh, for that reason, what they did is they started to create racial tensions and deliver black people on Serbian side to Serbian forces so they would pose alongside so that the Serbs would gain like a global sympathy in a genocide on Croatian people. Totally, totally identical to what we have seen have taken place also in Ukraine in the war of 2022, when the Russians had a lot of Africans uh, engaging in exactly the same patterns, basically trying to shit on the Ukraine as a racist country, uh, running from Ukraine and this and that. So it was like a preliminary step toward destroying the reputation of Ukraine in the same, exactly in the same fashion as the Serbs have done uh, with war on Ukraine. Uh, we, we see identical, identical, identical patterns. So 99.9% .9 certainty brings me on a picture when I find myself in Africa, probably, who knows, maybe in Liberia, uh, let me see the map here. I have not even seen anything here. The map or anything like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
I would say Liberia. As a matter of fact, well, let's see this stuff here closely. Ghana, Liberia, yeah, that's exactly Liberia and Ghana, I think, is what I was. Yeah, you, you, in this corner of the Africa, I think, is where the British, Britons, brought me here. This is what it was. This is where the, this is where the royals, Britons, brought me here. We were MI6, we're gonna crash you, we're gonna crack you. Services, subject, started to subject me right there to uh, a torture practice, uh, evaluating me. They are a masters in creation of a racism of hatred. You can't beat British system on how to break the human being and create a hater out of one. You can't beat that. And I was 23 years old at the time. I knew nothing, close to nothing about the world. I was just trying to have my life. Before I boarded the ship, Meridian, oh, that's a Portugal right there. Ah, you see it. Was registered on uh, Bahamas. I spent a uh, few days, maybe I don't know, ten days or something like this in Miami, two weeks or whatever. I didn't have any problem with the black people. The black people were my roommates. Uh, my date was actually a Portuguese girl with whom we decided we're gonna get married. A Portuguese girl with whom we decided both we're gonna do the contract and get together and it was a really romance and she came also to work on a cruise line on a ship uh, and as much as I wrote her letters I wouldn't see her no more uh, apparently in meanwhile I became a terrible racist because I did find myself afterwards in a Portugal and didn't want to have nothing to do with her I exactly identical situation to a Serbian girl from Slovenia from Ljubljana uh, whom I actually uh, briefly have dated before departure to for work on Bahamas basically on to the US I I dated this Serbian girl but under MK Ultra I didn't want to have nothing to do with her anymore so this shit here that happened to me and it started as one of the first locations after the London I was delivered to Africa uh, must I have deep 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 cuts in me uh, deep 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 psychological issues problems uh, literally with people from Ghana Liberia no in this in this area here that you see whatever these two guys are from but I think this is where they are from in the from this corner of the Africa okay I'm gonna say all the way to Cameroon, but this corner of the Africa here that you see, this, this here, uh, it left me traumatized enough for me to, once I have seen these guys in uh, Serbia, now the thing about this is what it's getting interesting, uh, I should say, excuse me, occupied part of Croatia. This is where things get interesting. If things get interesting because these black people in Africa knew tremendously, tremendously a lot uh, about the Serbia. Uh, here you're gonna see them talk about, uh, it appears that, and according to the story, okay? According to the stories, according to the stories, uh, 
My name. Yeah. Yeah. Willie. Willie. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, yes, I am commander two brigade. Uh, I am commander two brigade. The thing about it is that this individual here that you see, it appeared to me in Africa already as was in Serbia before. He appeared to me already as knowledgeable, uh, I should say, in that he already had previous experience with the Serbs. It appears to me that he already knew something a little bit too much about it. You understand? That he was not so freaking fresh when they presented me uh, and then posed with his shit on a on a on a on the internet that I was not even aware of it. Okay, so it appeared to me that this man already was back and forth like few months earlier that he already was there that he already had experience now this when I said few months earlier it appears to me that even before I disembarked the ship from celebrity cruise lines Meridian British already had me in Britain and even in Africa and even involved in war on the Balkans so this is where really, really things get interesting because this is now you see July 1995, you see that? And I participated in what you see right there and I made sure that I would see this stuff when I would see the internet that I would see these things. Which I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised as the war is developing in Ukraine. I'm going to have a next movie coming about final solution for Ukrainian people. Ukraine, you're going to see why it appeared to me, why they appeared to me this to be seen at this point in time. I completely understand why the British London popped up this thing on this, at this point in time. British ran this whole show. Americans acted like assistants, you could say. London alone was the one who coordinated all this show. The, all this all this stuff for the last 28 years, I can tell you, it was everything according to the plan that went on from London. So what I can tell you is the man that you see right there already was in Serbia at least three months earlier. He already was in Serbia, if not even six months. He traveled back and forth and maybe don't know much how much he already knew this guy but he was in charge for a relationship whatever kind of relationship they wanted and it appears to me uh not only he was already decided about whom he's gonna join when they presented me with the issue they started to bully me in africa about whom he's gonna join and because of whom he's going to join whom and this and that. So what you see right there is an African guy uh, handshaking with a Serbian Chetnik Mayor Bauk, commander of the second, uh, yeah, I don't know how you would, um, battalion let's say like this of the Serbian Chetniks in occupied part of Croatia yeah so this is one of the things I have to square away eventually from what I was taught and this is actually from very very reliable sources I get it now it was not Liberia it was actually I think Cameron something like this Cameron because they told me that you're going to get this wrong. You're going to get this wrong. Hey, you don't understand. In 2005, this man alone. You see, this guy, what I told you earlier. That London is timing the whole thing. This guy alone, this, this guy, this Serbian Chetnik was inside of this room. Inside of my room. 
and there was all kinds of governments here. You see, this guy here in 2005, eventually he came inside of the room, inside of this room. This guy, due to what I was told, I keep pointing at Liberia and Ghana. Due to what I was told, uh, they told me point toward this direction, Cameroon, uh, Central African Republic, whatever, Equatorial Guinea. Guinea. So this probably is, according to the governments, they gave me instruction, it would be this area here around Cameroon. According to my memory, it was Liberia and it was Ghana area, this area here that you see here. Now it was British that would do this nasty stuff and I know so because all of a sudden Central Intelligence Agency appeared in the map. SIA. Therefore I assume that the second one who came to the rescue to British was Central Intelligence Agency because I didn't want to have nothing to do with this shit. I rejected it. Uh, and it was a SIA all of a sudden that appeared in the map. And demanded from me to subject myself to uh, you want to call this multiculturalism I don't think you can call this multiculturalism uh, to get myself on the knees in front of the black people in Africa to get myself down in the knees in front of the black people in Africa and Serbian Tretniks. Black people in Africa who already made up their mind. As a matter of fact, I want to be very, very detailed. The black guy was already in Belgrade. This black guy that you see here was like a black diplomat who already had a relationship status with Belgrade. He was like a diplomat that would travel to Belgrade and already definitely <laughs> made up his mind, right? Uh, maybe, I have no idea, uh, maybe even a student of some kind, I don't think so, but definitely a diplomat who represented the country, whatever country. Uh, you understand? How it all started? This is the way it all started. The next thing that happened was we're just going to go over the movie. We're going to see the movie. We're going to play the movie. Uh. The next thing that happened when it comes to Central Intelligence Agency, SIA, is because I declined. Because I rejected the calls to submit myself on knees in front of the Serbian Chetniks. Uh, as a matter of fact, King Alexander was assassinated, but his son Peter escaped to uh, London. Assassination King Alexander was assassinated. Uh, then you have a son Peter, uh, and this is a son Peter who escaped to London. And of course, this had a royal king title. Uh, and then you have uh, I suppose he is, <laughs> uh, therefore, grandson of the Alexander, King Alexander, which whose name also is Alexander Karadjordjevic. Uh, look at that. Uh, running the show together with the comics from the London, from the Buckingham Palace. This is the king. This is the grandson of the, of the, of the, of the King Alexander. And his name also is Alexander. So these are the people that are started to run. Uh, look at this. Crown Prince Alexander Karadjordjevic. You see this? The Croats had close to no fucking chance here. Uh, in this war. Against Serbs. 
aggression of Serbs and Croatia. They have no fucking chance whatsoever. None whatsoever. With a Britons and even Americans siding with them at the time. They already uh, chartered uh, the new power on uh, a Balkans. Uh, the Serbs, to put it plain and simple, you see this here? This is a Croatia. This here is the map of the Croatia. This is what the Croatia was. Exactly what you see there. This is a real map of Croatia. As you can see, a Chetnik is going to tell you about how Croatia in year 800. This here is the map of Croatia in year 800. You know the Drina River? Drina River was always divider between the Serbs and between the Croats. Today, however, the Serbs occupied half of the Bosnia. Uh, they advanced themselves uh, toward um, Croatia enormously through the Balkans. And they did so literally through acceptance of the Croat people. The Croat people had understanding, love for the Serbian brothers, and as those multiplied uh, in a safe heavens, in a safe Croatian heavens, uh, they instead rebelled and they claimed their own territories away from Croats. This is how this Serbian conquest on Croatia and Bosnia uh, commenced, to be completely precise about it. And it's amazing that you would have people like British, London, Royals, literally supporting this type of uh, assimilation uh, based on a genocide and a forms of genocide, human ethnic extermination for the sake of some kind of kingdoms. So they would revive the world of kingdom. It's, it's incredible stuff. It's incredible stuff that went on. This guy, this is a bullshitter, this black guy that you see. This is a black racist. This is a black, black KKK, like a Magic Johnson. You know Magic Johnson, the NBA, a USA star? Or how about, let's say, Mike Tyson? Because it was exactly Mike Tyson, it was exactly Magic Johnson, it was the whole set of this black uh, supremacists, black uh, panthers, wherever, wherever this fantalins want to call themselves, yes? that rush to assistance to this black African supremacist, blood thirsty supremacists which joined Chetniks in a war on Croatia. Yeah? All of a sudden when I found myself in Africa it was a tremendous, tremendous call of the most famous people before I even started life in the US that joined this American force, this Central Intelligence Agency that came to rescue to the British that rushed to the rescue. I had enemies, black enemies in the US before I even disembarked myself in the US. You understand? When I commenced the work on this celebrity cruise lines and this ship, I already had an enemy, nothing but enemy, uh, in the US. It already commenced their conquest, the black conquest, the black conqueror of the world, the black supremacy, the retaliation, the vengeance for the slavery, for everything the white man have done, already commenced against me. All through, I'm from Slovenia, from a tiny little country with two million people. Not with, it, not with the two million people even, that have absolutely nothing to do with slavery other than being enslaved by itself. We were actually used as a cannon footer on Eastern Front during the World War II, 
in the World War I, uh, we had to go and fight against Italians and our people on the Italian side had to go and fight against Austrians. You know, we had our people on both sides all over the place. We were nothing other than a cannon footer. We were slaves ourselves for a very long time. Yeah, but in the eyes of the black people, of the black racist, there's just one motto, and that motto is to exterminate the white souls. That's all there is. Kill the whitey. And you're talking about the most famous, richest black people in the United States of America that are a cancer, a death of American society that infected also other groups, other racial groups in the U.S., such as Hispanic, Asian, and so on, whatever other non-white groups. That's all infected by the black supremacy, by the black hatred. The longer gone days of Martin Luther King, black man decided to take control over to himself. But what's interesting, because I don't side with racial discrimination, racism views, is that this man here, this man here, Mayor Balk, appeared in our house in 2005. He sure wasn't proud about what happened next, if we see the video. My name. name. Yeah, yes. your name. Yes. Really, yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. Yes. And yeah, yes, I am commander yeah, yeah. to brigade. Yeah. 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 Croatian people and an occupied territory of Croatia, deep inside of Croatia. They were never there. They never went beyond Drina. Drina is the river that separated historically Croats and Serbs. Now he calls Croatian people Ustasha people because they're in the World War II, just like a Finnish people, just like Ukrainian people. Unfortunately, there was no other force, but they did join Nazi military to liberate their country from a frequent terror because the Serbs would, in Zagreb, in the capital of Croatia, plant bombs. They engaged in heavy terrorism. They were assassinating people left and right, back and forth. The same thing like Russians did under the so-called Soviet Union inside of the Ukraine. Oni su neznatne i zanemarljive. Opšte stanje u Skarinskom zaređu je stabilno. Nema problem, nema, nema, nema ništa. Nema problem, nema ništa. This guy is from another African country. I have to tell you the two are not from the same and they are from the Ghana area. What I can tell you is this guy, however, was new. This guy was not there before. This guy was when, um, literally came with me there and have spent about, I estimate, according to the timing he is, at this point that you see him on a camera, um, well, if I go back, yeah, just like this guy, the two joined this brigade, they were sent to this brigade by their government. Uh, and the, um, the other guy that you have seen uh, traveled back and forth. He also would go to Belgrade. But this guy here that you see here, this guy that at this point in time that you see, this is a freshman that came, that joined to the Serbs to murder, to slaughter, to cleanse, to kill the Croatian people, uh, he is at this point in time about, yeah, I would give him about maybe maximum uh, two weeks. You understand? This, this is the guy here, two weeks, and the chatting that you see right there, uh, try to make him, according to the rules of the Buckingham Prince Andrew, uh, Prince Charles, were the tutors of this Commander Bauk. 
uh, they were the one they tutored him how to present himself as the somebody that is just will embrace uh, this multiculturalism, that he is a friendly person, that this is not like a crot, and the crot are Nazis and this and that. And so this black guy that stands over there, he is certain about, based on the torture performed on me, uh, that he is actually doing exactly the right thing, that he is actually joining the Serbs uh, in a war against Fuck that, come on man, the, the guy is a fucking racist, the black guy is a fucking racist, he's fucking drowning in a fucking lunacy, he's fucking bloodthirsty like you don't believe, the people down in Africa, bloodthirsty, and in the United States of America, black people, a fucking cancer of society, death of America, death of the world, death of democracy. Listen to me, black people of this world. I am from Slovenia. My ancestors fought, and it's because of whom your asses exist today. During the World War II with the Nazis. My mother's brother was killed in a war with the Nazis. My grandfather was a secretary in the city of the Novo Mesto in resistance front. He served against the Germans. They carried hats. 24-7. This, your kind of extremism, is not what we fought for. We did not fought to destabilize society and steer one into internal hatred till the world is going to fucking explode. You are the reason, not only for the tension in the United States of America, but for all the problems that this world have faced after the World War II. You're the one who created this problem. And what is disturbing to me is that despite knowing, and this is a 28-year-old torture case that you have implicated yourself in, what is disturbing to me is that you have taken no responsibility whatsoever for the people of your own that engaged in a racism and a crime. Quite contrary, you did absolutely everything possible to harbor them to protect them with the lies for the cost of engaging in crime against me, Eastern European, together with what I see now as your owners from London, basically. The Imperials, you know, those that actually once even enslaved you. Well, my dear black sisters and brothers, in this world, it does not work like this. Uh, nema, nema nista. Listen to this, nema ništa, nema ništa, there is nothing, this guy is sick. What, what you mean nema ništa, what he is trying to say is he wants to cleanse, he wants to kill, he is eager to go and kill. And the other Chetnik right there, the Serb, he is suggesting, he is saying to him, there is no Ustasha, there is no Ustasha, he is, he is saying to him. Nema Ustasha. No, there is no Ustasha, there is just a Croat people that is defending their country. We don't get everything good. Okay. Everything is good, everything is good. Everybody, everybody okay. Everybody okay. Yes, very good. Thank you. make a good deal, everybody okay, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tako treba. Dobre kraja, ima kosa, ima ovce, tako. Ima koza, ima oca. There is goat and there is, um, I don't even know how you say that animal right now in English because I'm pissed off beyond beliefs when I think about black people like Magic Johnson, when I think about Mike Tyson, when I think about Evander Holyfield, when I think about all these people knowing about this shit. Barack Obama, President of the United States of America, right now serving Kamala Harris, who went all the way to Belgrade and incited in violence against me in 96, 97 officially, gave green light for the violence against me, assured Serbs that there is nothing to fear. When I think about this stuff here, I'm pissed off beyond believable that I obtained citizenship in a country like this in the year 2000. 
I'm shocked that, that was in a country like this, that a country like this, and it's known as United States of America, even exists on a fucking map today in 2022. That actually, there is a country like this. It's a country that w was actually worse of the worst, that has a statue over there of freedom in a New York, but is engaging in a practices that you would not encounter absolutely anywhere in the world. I'm shocked with this stuff. He's talking about, as Chetnik alone explained to me, he spent some time with them, teaching them also some Serbian language, and uh, so that, like, cool them down, joke with them, accommodate them as much as possible, exactly, exactly to uh, instructions of Buckingham Palace of Prince Andrew. Exactly accordingly with instructions of Prince Andrew. In the 8th century, uh, listen to this, in the 8th in in century, the place spominjao naseljima Srba, bolje reći, i to mogu jasno i glasno reći, da su Srbi došli u prostor Republike Srpske krajine pre nego što su Hrvati došli u okolicu Zagreba. Listen, there were, there were, there were Serbs here. You're talking already, this, this location here is already, uh, if you would go on a map, if you would take a map, what the Chetnik is saying is, they were already in, in the other side of Croatia before the Croats in the 8th century. And this is the map of Croatia in, uh, from the 8th century. It goes all the way down to Montenegro. Montenegro used to be part of Croatia. It was called Red Croatia, Crvena Hrvatska. And uh, Serb claims that he is here already next to Slovenia up north where it says Krajinska that all this here this this already the, the Serbs were already here in in, in an eighth century in all these areas here did you see they, they already occupied all this all over this place here already uh, in an eighth century before the Croat even got uh, to their main capital city uh, known as Zagreb. You see what the fuck I'm saying? And so... This is our territory. The guy, the guy who was so... Who, who talk about Nema problem, no problem, no problem, right? No problem. What he's saying is that he's going to expand the border, the Serbian border, all the way to the Italy. Listen, listen to this shit here. That's how he explained to me this. Zatim, nekako bježanje u Srbiju, Banja Luku i koje kuda, da to prekinu. I tamo taj narod, nek' bude vesel. Ta, kako kukljava i plaćnjava. Nema tamo da mi tamo žene kukljava i pokrinu, gdje su i muževi. Evo gdje su mi, evo, tu smo. Slavno im to pokažu. I nema, a ovima preko, ako ovo vide, Recite da im ja poručujem major Bauk da ću ih goniti do sinjega mora i preko mora Italije jer je mora i naš... Da, ovo je strahota koji... Major Bauk was in a hurry to leave his settlement with his Serbs occupiers invaders as ukrainian people refer to as the russians in a, such a hurry he was that according to instructions from london he eventually end up lynching his own people when he rushed back to serbia on a serbian side he caused a lynching <laughs> Dakle, pet kilometara užasa i tragedije gdje su srpska četnička vojska Mile Novakovića bježeći tenkovima izgazila. They went ahead and they ran over their own people, their own refugees, killed people, 
destroyed transport along this road, saving their own lives. Because behind them, it was a Croatian military that was eating their ass from behind, basically. They were taking not village after village, but city after city with everything that Croatia had at the time, and they seized back a good portion of Croatia. Uh, the threats, the Serbian threats, this is how they ended, basically. They ended with destroying, running over their own civilians, killing their own civilians, leaving the destitution like this. Why? Why would they do this stuff like this? <laughs> they do the stuff like this for the same reason as they did this kind of stuff here that you see. This. They wanted to portray the whole thing in a different light. They want the uh, world to sympathize with them. I can assure you that Mayor Bauk, who claimed will never leave this place, is, at least it was, he was, he was well. He did well. He survived. He escaped in a tank. He saved his ass. His Chetniks are all okay. They saved themselves. No problem. A life appeared in this room in 2005, long after war already ended. War ended in 2000. Uh, long, 10 years after what you see here. He is a completely okay. I don't know about the black people, where and how. But I can recall their presidents who assured me how they are committed in supporting uh, Serbs in this war against us and so on. So I told you, the one who transferred me and performed beatings on me uh, was no other than Buckingham Palace Royals. In London, they demonstrated to me when I, during already my work on the cruise line ship, I did not, I was not aware until I saw this video yesterday. Some really pretty women, and all of a sudden I found myself bullied, beaten up by the black people, transferred to Africa. Like you completely change the picture, completely different contrast, and bullied with the people as you see here. There was another third black guy who was permanently with his Chetniks. Uh, they had few people, as a matter of fact, I think, black people that already served. They were already there for a longer time. So this operation went on under the British guidance for the sake of the Serbia already for quite some time. For me to explain to you something that British were also the ones that ended the war on Kosovo, siding with the Serbia, literally. You understand when the on Kosovo when the war ended, it was exactly the British uh, momentum that brought a, a significant character uh, to the Serbian truce uh, with uh, with the Kosovo people because Serbs did not have anywhere what it took, but with assistance of NATO is mistakes. I refer to this as a mistakes. They were able to cause significant damage to Albanian troops, to, to the Kosovo troops, which consequently have signed truce, uh, I would say on a Serbian terms. You understand? It's how it went on, it's how it started, and it's basically how it ended. And with 2000, it, didn't, it did not end. In 2005, as I stated, Meyer Baug, this Chetnik, appeared inside of this room. He never forgot me. And he was with a multiple governments that witnessed this. Hollywood actors knew about the truth about the black racism, how it all started, who started the racism, why this racism all started. 
and it's no surprise to me it came to me pointed out on a YouTube by Sergey Brin you know Russians uh, is the last is the ultimate Sergey Brin and his associates that were part of this Donald Trump crew uh, Vladimir Putin is screwed they all that's what they were doing inside of this residence here inside of this house that's what it went all along this is what this was all about this they congregated here and they planted their own issues to go about so I thought that this would be an important step for me to make to clarify certain issues about who is what is how it all happened Everyone knew about the crime. Yeah, assisted by the CIA, but this really was created by the London. Well, when you talk about the Central Intelligence Agency and British, you you can be sure you're talking about the same thing. Uh, it's just Americans, Central Intelligence Agency, acting on behalf of Britain. They, they're basically just their assistance of the London. Let's just put it this way. But you have a problem with the London you definitely have one with a central intelligence agency. You definitely have one with United States of America government, top government. There is no doubt about that. So I just wanted to clarify these issues. Uh, I am disgusted that eventually the black people of the United States of America, and you're talking about not only a top portion of black people, but you're talking about every one of them I came across expressed solidarity exactly what I have written right down below here and I have written you light with a clear intention and no less than 28 years light as black race light as black relation you light more than just because of money I initially thought it was about money you lied to murder not just for the money and you did so you keep silent you hope i'm not gonna see this video ever for no less than 28 years and that's what makes you a number one racist a number one predator a number one prejudice a number one threat to the world not only to united states of america but a number one threat to the world or I should say post-World War II world. How? Well, basically, that's what I'm going to explain in my next video, is basically how. And that's why I stated I'm not surprised that this man here appeared inside of the room in the year 2005 and stated, Yes, but only if you will be good. We'll tell the truth. Only if you will be good. And what exactly is good? Well, that's got to do entirely with the truth of Ukraine with uh, Russia. And that's about the video I'm preparing and it's coming as next. You should see. I'm going to put a link right below this video. But the two definitely are connected with one another no sir the world war ii partisans my own family members did not fought for your ideals for your racist ideals it doesn't really make any difference whether you are a white or black or asian or latino prejudiced racist a racist simply is a racist that's all there is there is no such thing as torturing someone and acknowledging him drugged up through the torture as a racist there's only a guilt weapon a crime a lie that exists in the world like this and in my case provenly you have had engaged in crime against me since 
1995, actually even before I ended the contract aboard Meridian Cruise Lines, Celebrity Cruise Lines, even before you blacks have taken the initiative, it's like a marriage between Meghan Merkel and Prince Harry, you know? You have two extremists, and I'm not going to forget the marriage itself between Meghan Merkel and between the Prince Harry. On one side, you have a black prejudiced racist, a mama, and the father, mm, not much different from within, or it could be that he is exactly the opposite from the mother. I don't know about the Thomas Merkel. I never figure out that man. Uh, and on the other pole, you have uh, members of a uh, Buckingham Palace Royals. And then what they do is they engage in, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, magnetic, anti-magnetic uh, attraction laws. And around them is just boom, 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 crash, collapse, crash, smash. Bullshit. Just like we see still goes on these days. Um... London, ladies and gentlemen, British, were allowed to, in my personal opinion, wander far too far in world of American affairs. There already was war between the United States of America and Britain. As you know, this used to be a British colony. Uh, and it appears to me they found through the certain channels way straight back into the U.S. in this attraction loss, uh, clumsy elephant uh, attraction laws are killing people left and right, uh, disarraying the whole society, arraying one according to their own global plans agenda. That's all I want to say for this video. Today is, in fact, August the 24th, 2022. You gotta see the video coming as next, uh, as this is what I was told is gonna be the outcome of Ukrainian war now it's a six month of war in 2022 we wondered as it's actually just a genocide the deletion ethnic cleansing of Ukrainian nation come on let's be let's be frank about it uh, and it's got everything to do with this video is just a continuation of what you have seen here one big fucking London politic Sure, before even got to the U.S., they already were on Balkans. They already, they espionage for the Serbs on Balkans throughout the entire war, conflict uh, on Balkans. It was Bill Clinton that luckily took step uh, his own way, his own, to stop the massacre on Balkans. If it wasn't for Bill Clinton, I think that Serbs eventually would massacre all the Croats, all the Bosnian people, all the Slovenian people, even, who knows, Montenegrin people, uh, Macedonian people. Listen, I'm not from there. Kosovo people, definitely. I don't know how it is to be Macedonian or Montenegrin, Montenegrin from their point of view. I have no idea how it is, but all I know is that they're accepted, they're welcomed, they are well being taken care of, and when there are many enough to disarray society, to change things around, it doesn't matter, even if they come claiming injustice against them. Uh, they tend, they have a tendency to forget where they came from, why they came from, 
and then we go through that same wash cycle again over and over again anywhere any country you go to whatever that be any eastern european country the same thing repeated with this people time and again